FNAF fan games are very interesting to us. But why is that? That's because each one has a new twist to the original timeline. I want to bring this up because this FNAF fan game did things very differently. You see, it doesn't take place in your average two-story home or a regular restaurant. This time, we're set on a cargo ship. At night. This is when they break the news to you. And there's no going back now because you're not turning around a 200-ton ship. They state that animatronics are in a crate and you're the one to deliver them. But little did we know. They've already broken out. I got a few years of being a captain. <laughs> Don't play with me now. Look how far we have to travel. Where am I going? Getting ready for the voyage, you're giving clear instructions on how to get through the night. You have a horn to fend off any weird things you see outside. A motion tracking device, which I didn't know how to use for two nights straight because I'm a dumbass. And last, a ship and water integrity. These are very important because you have to constantly keep fixing these as the ship goes on. New mission, use the horn. Wh where's the horn? Oh. That's right. Refill the water, use, oh. Oh, I was like, oh, like that? All right. Okay. I mean, to like leave the cockpit or something. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can't fix this flat. Oh, there we go. You have to, you have to hover over these things. All right. Whoa, whoa. Let's back up, bud. Get out of here. Boy, ain't scary. I want to quickly mention that I spent almost 30 minutes on this night and realize you need to actually put your cursor on the steering wheel for your boat to even move. Oh my goodness, bro. Am I, a, bro, am I dumb? I'm, I'm actually mad. Like, see, we have a distance to cover. I'm always doing something every video, bro. He's coming. Oh! That was way too close. We got 300 more uh, meters to go. Okay, the, so the ship's integrity goes down really quick. But what is a wa how does a water pump start going down? You feel me? I'm hearing seagulls. We're approaching. Oh yeah. After Voyage 1, you are then sent to walk around the ship with a checklist. Shut off the pipes, find jerry cans, and turn on the generator before we are excused to leave. And if you hear any strange noises, don't move and don't breathe. Listen, y'all. Fear is just the state of mind. Fear. <gasps> about piss my pants. I'm not scared no more, bro. Oh! Oh! That was Bloodington. That was Bloodington. That was him. Place the generator fuse. That's the last thing. Oh! That was it? That was easy. Are you kidding me? I wasn't scared. Whoa, what, what, that, what, what was that? This being the second voyage, this is where things get interesting. You are now given a new ship with the option to use the water defense mechanism. But this just means we have another animatronic that's escaped. Not only that, it's the most annoying because it causes the water integrity to fail. Just keep your eye on the motion detector. That's all. We'll see some come across. That area will we'll pull down the water. I think that's, that's how we'll know. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Just making sure, y'all. Just making sure. <gasps> oh! <gasps> And I also forgot to mention that this animatronic is really dependent on timing, which we can see I failed miserably to do that. What does that mean? What? I'm dead. I'm dead. What? Oh, no. No, I'm dead. Oh, we're good. Oh. Man, I'm sitting here acting up, man. Oh, shoot. I'm low key bugging y'all. Get back! Get back! Get back! Oh crap, we gotta go. 
Oh, right. Get out of here. That's game, baby. That's game, baby. That's right. That's right. We're prompted again to do the checklist, although things take a turn. You have more pipes to fix and jerry cans to find. But the only problem is, the monster's able to trick you this time. Speedrun time. I didn't hear breathing! What? I don't get it. Bro, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I finally understood that when you hover your mouse over an item, the breathing continues and you're supposed to wait till it stops. I'm scared to move. Where is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Voyage 3 is pretty much the same thing as Voyage 1 and 2, except you're introduced to a new vent animatronic. The problem with this entity is that if you miss his position in the motion detector, he can be really annoying. It will not warn you a second time. All right, the new animatronic will enter the vent uh, and maintain it. Uh, use your light to scare it away. Okay, scare light, 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 light. All right, keep that in mind, the light, guys. All right, we might need like a couple tries on this one, knowing me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Vent? Who's in the vent? What? Okay, there we go, there we go. Go, 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 go. What the frick? Hey, you gotta clean your damn teeth, bro. <laughs> damn, bro. I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No way. I'm just slick with it. I'm just slick with it. I'm just slick with it, bro. Oh, crap. They're coming. Here they come. Come on. 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 Please. Let's go. We are now instructed to refill the fuel tank and restore the ship's power. I thought this would be a pretty easy job, but no one told us that this shit would be here. What was that sound? <gasps> I'm repairing stuff? No. Ow. Oh. Stamina? Is that how you fix things? I hope one day I learn a new skill where I'm able to talk while I'm doing things. You can literally tell I'm using 100% of my brain power because of how slow I am. You'll see this happen more throughout the video too. Yo, my guy's putting, he's putting his, he's putting his soul into these, bro. How about you use that on the animatronic? Knock him out. I knew that was coming too. All right. What's this? Oh wait, the, the water. I'm so dumb. Move. Why does he turn so slow? He's like, he's like. Bro, the second I move, if this was a real scenario, I'd be like. Bro, like, dude, you gotta understand, <laughs> these are robots, bro. All right, come on now. Where's the ship's fuel? Where's that at? Oh, right here. Seven, six, one, eight. Okay, we can't type today. 
Seven, six, one, eight. Am I safe in this room? Oh my goodness, that scared the frick out of me. How long does it take you to refuel? He's gonna jump down. He's coming. Right now. Now we're telling up. Yo! They know me! Captain CEO! Bumblebee! I don't even know what I'm saying, bro. Talking about Bumblebee and fucking. This is where we start to get into the good stuff. As we're getting instructed, our call gets interrupted. A new guy is on the line. His name is Mason. He pretty much knows all the secrets and lets us know that we are delivering something that should not even be alive. He explains that if we deliver these animatronics, bad things are to come. What the? A croc or the kraken? That basically sums up what's on this ship. It's called the Kraken, which you'll see on night six. On the fourth voyage, we are introduced to two new entities, one that hides in the control room. And if you see it, you are instructed to leave immediately. And the other one is just standing outside watching you. If you let it in, think of it like Mangle. It's gonna be really loud and it'll disable all the key functions like being able to move the boat or being able to refill your water integrity. All right. What the frick was that thing? Y'all seen that thing? What am I, what the flip am I doing? Come on. <laughs> Yo, I'm soloing. I'm soloing, I'm soloing. Get off my ship. We ain't paying no ship bills. Get out of here. I'm dusty ass ocean feet. Where the frick you came from? This dude might be Davy Jones, bro. I can't fall. What the frick? <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was just, <laughs> that was just very intense, okay? We are sent out again to the basement to refill the ship's fuel and complete a bunch of other tasks. This was the exact same thing as last time, so we're just gonna skip over this part because nothing important happens here. All right. This is our fifth voyage, and we are only 1,800 meters to finally come across what we've all been waiting for. We get a call from Bishop, our instructor, and he tells us how there's a weird stench in the back. He wants us to check it out out of all people because the crew members were too scared. This is only after we finish this insane night where the animatronics are completely active, and that's when we'll make our amazing discovery. Horrible stench. No one has dared to investigate it yet. Make sure the middle deck is closed as well. We came in this morning. Why right y'all make me check it? Making me check. I don't want to check it. What the heck? I give a damn if y'all scared. Y'all go check that. Hey, y'all go check it, bro. Not me. I ain't checking nothing. I'm hopping out this boat after this shift. We have a ton of distance to cover. Okay, we got the...
Dude, drive. Come on. Frick. A thousand more. Oh my god. What does this guy want? Damn. Drive, 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 fuck, fuck. Freaky run into. What the frick? Y'all having butt sex in that room? Come on now. Got out of here, bro. Damn. You trying to make out? Like, dang, bro. The fuck? Who's that? What was that? <laughs> How about that? Let's go. All I seen was like dried wieners, bro. He's like, hey, buddy. How we doing today? And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna start bouncing it. Oiled up naked. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm done. Such a mm. What's going on? Oh my goodness, bro. It's not even okay. Where's that guy in the vent? Oh, he's he's still coming in. Everything's failing. And this fat, ugly. S I am. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Who's crawling around? Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's open that up. Come on. Ooh. Why are you doing this? You think you can just take us away? And destroy us? And leave no trace of us left? I don't want that. I'm sorry, you're ugly. I don't want that to happen. You have made a mistake doing this. And you know that. All right, well, I'm not reading it like this. Malcolm, that's my name. Oh, Malcolm, I know everything about you. Why is he smiling? Why is he smiling? You are just like everyone else I've killed. Killed? Oh, no. Weak. Maybe I know why you are even here to begin with. It is because of your brother. Oh, he knows. And I know you want to take revenge. Oh no. 
but you know deep down that you'll never defeat me. So he killed my brother. Never come back here. Never tell anyone about this. Or else. Are we threatening me now? Man, please, please get out of my face, bro. I will face you. You deformed lizard, whatever the hell you are. The final voyage. No, no. This is where this night gets interesting. You're only versing one animatronic or technically two. I wouldn't consider the guy outside an animatronic as he doesn't really do much. You just gotta honk your horn. But as for the Kraken, he's really quick. He can make it to point A and B in like two seconds. Just take a look. Okay. Let's go. The frick? I don't wanna kiss you. Out of here. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. And that's when I found out very quickly that this animatronic is not like the others. He is very quick. This is scary, guys. I'm a little spooked. Alright, he's coming to my vents first. No, he's not. He's quick. And the ship moves so slow. Now. Damn! I think I'm only just dealing with him, guys. The frick? What was Bloody doing? All right. Get out of here. Where's he at? Where are you? And that's what I'm talking about when I say this animatronic is insanely fast. You see how I already dealt with him in the vent. And next thing you know, he comes running down the hallway with no noise cue, by the way. So make sure you're paying attention to that radar because you're gonna really need it. Okay. Out of here. Okay. What's going on? I can't fix anything. That's sweet. I'm dead. Oh my god. What are you supposed to do with that? I'm dead. You can't use this either. Dude! Oh! It's not hard. It's more so like, how do I explain it? He's quick. You feel me? I don't know why he's harder than three other animatronics. When we had four. All right. The guy's going to jump out our window like a, like a lunatic. Why'd I do that? There we go. We're just, we're just gonna do our horn while we can, you know? Don't kiss me, bro. I don't. That's. No. There was no consent to that kiss. Where is he now? He's. Damn. Dude, this is like locked in mode. I don't think y'all understand. Like, I'm locked in. Here you come.
Are you kidding me? There we go. So we come to a point of defeat. Where is my cursor? Where is my anger, frustration, sadness? No, I'm playing. Yeah, I had to cut it short. I was running out of time and I didn't want to go overboard. So I will accept the fact that I couldn't get to the end of night six, but we beat night five. So that's all that matters. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.